Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is Tuesday, October 4th, 2016, and I am Shelby McKamey. This Wednesday from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m., the Recreational Center will be hosting a pink out party for breast cancer awareness with all proceeds going directly to the Susan G. Komen Foundation. Make sure to wear pink and for only $5, you can enjoy rocking out to Zumba and dance fitness. There will also be a guest speaker sharing their testimony and how the Susan G. Komen Foundation truly changes lives. In local news, the city of Stephenville has been granted $60,000 from the State of Texas Transportation Commission to expand the runway at the Stephenville Clark Regional Airport. The plan is to extend the runway by 800 feet so they will be purchasing property on both ends. The city of Stephenville will be funding 10% of this project while TxDOT will be responsible for the remaining balance. The project is to be expected to be complete by spring 2018, costing a total of roughly $7 million. Also in local news, there were two clown sightings last night on the Tarleton campus. Texan news reporter Ethan Taylor talked to Chief Matt Welch late this morning about the incidents last night at Centennial Residence Hall and also in a pickup truck cruising campus. Welch said there were in fact two, clowns, two calls about clown sightings in campus. No laws were broken and no weapons were used in either case. We, he also wanted to inform the student body that it is not a good idea to wear clown costumes because people could take actions into their own hands instead of calling the police. He also wanted to emphasize that the Pooh were not out last night and are not affiliated with the clown sightings. In state news, according to the Associated Press, on Monday the United States Supreme Court declined the Obama administration's request to consider a controversial immigration program. The program would have allowed roughly 4 million undocumented immigrants to stay in the country legally. The program sought to aid those immigrants to be able to qualify for work authorization. It was to be scheduled to take effect in February of 2015, but has been halted by Judge Andrew Hannon of Brownsville, Texas. The eight-member court announced that it was evenly divided on the issue and blocked the program from moving forward. After Supreme Justice Anton Scalia died in February, the White House asked the Supreme Court to reconsider the case once it had a full bench. On Monday, the court denied the hearing request, handing a victory to Texas and the 25 other states who challenged the program. And now for more of today's national and international news, we turn to the AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. The landmark Paris Climate Change Pact is poised to enter into force around the world after European Union lawmakers endorsed the agreement. In the presence of UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, the lawmakers voted for the 28 EU nations to simultaneously ratify the agreement to limit global warming. Hurricane Matthew roared into the southwestern coast of Haiti, threatening a largely rural corner of the impoverished nation with devastating storm conditions. The dangerous Category 4 storm made landfall around dawn on Haiti's southern peninsula and was expected to bring 15 to 25 inches of rain. U.S. and Philippine forces opened joint combat exercises under some uncertainty Tuesday, days after the Philippines' new leader said they would be the last such drills of his six-year presidency. Marine commanders from both sides said the exercises are aimed at improving readiness to respond to a range of crises while deepening their historic ties. Three British-born scientists were awarded this year's Nobel Prize in Physics for work that, quote, revealed the secrets of exotic matter. Their research was conducted in the 1970s and 80s. Matthew Burgoyne, the Associated Press with AP News Minute. Today's broadcast was produced by Malik Pettis, Braden Nesbitt, Megan Abels, Ethan Taylor, and Ashley Jobbins. You can follow us at www.texannews.net. Don't forget to tell your friends about us and become a fan of Texan TV News on Facebook. Tune in tomorrow for the latest news from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas.